All right, this is take two of Angry Dad fucking podcast on fucking February 5th, Monday. The first one, the app all of a sudden wanted to act like a fucking bitch and didn't want to fucking work. You know, I got halfway through this motherfucker, probably did maybe about 12 fucking minutes and didn't realize that the motherfucker wasn't re fucking recording. All right. Now, what a fucking bitch is that? Fuck that shit. This is the second time I've had problems with this fucking app. You know, it's weird to me that I, I can press the app, say it's going to go, and then fucking halfway through the motherfucker, oh, we're having issues fucking recording. Fuck that shit. Fuck this. Fix this fucking app. Do a fucking update. Figure out what the fuck you motherfuckers need to fucking do because it's fucking bullshit that I got to fucking deal with that. You know, sitting here trying to do a fucking podcast is like one fucking 38 waiting for my son to get out of fucking school so I can take his ass fucking home and deal with all this fucking shit. And if you can't fucking tell, I'm fucking sick again. My fucking can't stop fucking coughing, can't stop fucking, you know, being congested, got a fucking headache, I'm fucking muscles are tired, I'm fucking exhausted, all that fucking bullshit. You know, but besides that, I had a great fucking weekend, enjoyed myself, watched the Super Bowl, fuck the Patriots, the Eagles fucking won, oh fucking well, and fuck the Eagles too, because I don't give a fuck about them either. You know, I just fucking hate Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and fucking Roger Goodell cheating like a motherfucker. You know, people were like, oh man, the, the game was, yeah, you know what? The game was played fair. With all the scandals, with all the bullshit fucking going on, well, guess the fuck what? Of course, the refs are going to be a little bit more cautious of what they're fucking calling because they're being accused of some serious ass fucking shit. So, you know what? They, even though the penalties were still slightly off, there just wasn't so many penalties called during the fucking game, which was fucking great because it was an even fucking playing field. Brady fucking choked. Good. Choked on a fat fucking dick. Fuck that motherfucker. But you know what? Let me get on to something today. You know? And, you know, it, it's um, possibilities. The possibility to do whatever you want, the possibility to make change, the possibility to fucking get things across, the possibility of doing great in this fucking world. You know, people never think about the possibilities of what they can do with their lives because they're so stuck or content or fucking just like so down on themselves they don't fucking think they can do anything. Anything is fucking possible in this fucking world. It is fucking proven with hard work, hard fucking determinations, and the willingness to do what it fucking takes. You have to do what it takes to get things going, to get things started, to turn that possibility into actuality. You know? You have to force it. You have to will it. You have to command it. You have to want it. To change a possibility into a want. To cha- I mean, to change a possibility into life, into fucking reality. You know? People fucking never think they can do anything. I hear people, man, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. And then I hear a fucking excuse about, well, I can't do this because of this. Look. Look. Anybody can do anything. You have to find a fucking way to fucking do it. You have to find a way to get your shit done. You have to find a fucking way to fucking make it possible. If you need to sleep less, if you need to fucking work more, if you need to fucking strive harder, you know, you sometimes you have to suffer now to live it up fucking later and people forget about that fucking shit. You know, if you want something bad enough, what are you willing to do to fucking get it? You have to sacrifice things in life to make things possible. You have to give to get. Whether you give time, you give effort, you give fucking a part of your fucking life, you know, you know, you, there's things you're never going to get back. But if you give what you get, if you give what you give now, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get it back later. You know, you have to do these things to fucking change things, to make things possible, to change that want no more into a want to a have. You know, it's insane to me that I hear how many people will give an excuse faster than they're willing to give a plan. You know, there, if you don't plan what you want, then you'll never make anything possible. But if you plan what you want, you give it a schedule, you give it a time. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do this all within a certain amount of fucking time. And guess the fuck what? You get what you want. That possibility is now actuality. You have to fucking do these fucking things. 
You have to fucking do these things. Whether it's uncomfortable, it's fucking, you know, you, you're going to regret what the fuck is going to happen. You're going to fucking, cha- things are going to fucking change and you don't want to fucking deal with it. You know, that's on you. That's on you. If you fucking are scared to do something, then what the fuck do you want to do it for? Think about that fucking shit. If you want something and you're fucking cowering because you want that, but you don't want to do what you you don't want to do what it takes to get that, then why are you even fucking thinking about it? You know, everybody has a desire for something in this fucking world, yet not having the willingness to do it. That's why there are certain people out in this world that are successful, and there's certain people that are just fucking average. Just fucking average. Whether it's big or fucking small, you know what I'm saying? Medium fucking size. It doesn't fucking matter. If you're doing what you want, you're doing what you love, well, guess the fuck what? You are getting things fucking done. But yet, I see people that fucking work mindless fucking jobs, in and fucking out, can't keep work, can't fucking what's called, because all they want to do is fucking daydream and imagine what it would be if they had what they wanted instead of working for what they wanted. You know? It's insane to me that that's how that shit goes down. That's That's how that shit happens. You know, I was once trapped in that fucking circle and that fucking that that rotation of failure. But guess the fuck what? I changed that and I changed that with hard work and determination and figuring out what I wanted to fucking do with my fucking self. You know, things are difficult. And if you don't go through these difficult things, how are you going to know what it takes or what you have to do to get it? You know, you'll never know what you can do if you don't do. It's insane to me that people don't want to fail. You have to fail to succeed because how, if you don't fail, then how are you going to know what you're doing wrong? How are you going to know what's going to change? How do you know what you need to do the next time? If you fail, great. Starting point again. Better foundation. Because when you fucking fuck up and you hit fucking rock bottom, well, guess the fuck what? Rock bottom is the best found fucking dation to start with fucking it, you know? It fucking is. It is. When you ain't got nothing fucking left, all you can do is go up because you can't get any more buried than you are. You know? People fucking get suffocated and fucking drowned in their sorrows, in their hopelessness, in their fucking feeling of worthlessness. Look, you need to take yourself as priority and fulfill the needs that you fucking need to get what you want in this fucking world. Don't feel fucking sorry for yourself. Don't feel sorry for fucking anybody else because you need to take care of you before you do anything else for anybody else. You need to fucking take in that shit. Realize that shit. Feel that fucking shit. Because guess the fuck what? If you don't love yourself, ain't nobody else going to fucking love you for yourself because you're a miserable piece of fucking shit. So stop being a miserable piece of shit. Get the fucking kind of help you need. Talk to the fucking people you need to fucking talk to. Get the fucking help you fucking need. Because that's the only way you'll fucking change things. Get the information. Change your life. Because you want to change your life. Not because if I change my life, I'll get this person. Or if I change my life, this person will think I'm a better person. If I change my life, it's going to be better for somebody else. No. Change your life because you want your life to be better. Nobody else's lives needs to be better except for your fucking own. And the way that fucking works is if you're happy, other people will be happy. Because the people that are around you that want to see you happy are the ones that want to see you fucking succeed. And the people that want you to succeed are the people that fucking love you. And then you're going to get those fucking dumbass fucking gold diggers that only want you to succeed so they can suck the fucking life out of you. And guess the fuck what? You'll be able to tell who they fucking are and cut them fucking loose. Because they're a worthless fucking piece of shit, a drag on fucking life, and you don't fucking need that shit. At fucking all. At fucking all. Look, in this world, you have to do the things you don't want to do to get what you fucking want. You know, one of the th- most biggest excuses is, is I'm scared to do it. Scared to do it. You know what I hear? Scared to do it. That means you are being pathetic. You are being the kind of person that is fucking intimidated by the rest of the fucking world when all you got to do is try. What is the worst that will happen? No. No, that's not. Guess what? You can always turn a no into a yes if you work hard enough towards it. You know, you have to believe in yourself before other people believe in you. To get things done, you have to fucking be willing to do this. 
It's insane to me that fucking people have this conception of the life of this world that if I don't do this, I'm not going to get nothing. And it's fucking true as fuck. If you don't do nothing, you don't get nothing. If you don't fucking sacrifice, you don't get nothing. If you don't go all in, you don't get nothing. All you can do is half-ass and get past in this world. All I want is people to understand that, look, shit sucks. Life's a fucking bitch. And then you fucking die. But guess the fuck what? You can sweet talk that bitch into getting you anything you fucking want in this fucking world if you are willing to put in the work. You know, it's crazy to me that I sometimes can't get this point across to people. You know, some people, you know, they realize it. I can see that awakening in their fucking eyes. Like, oh my God, you're fucking right. And I fucking love that because it lets me know that they're going to be more informed in their life and try to do something different and try to change. But then I get those people that roll their fucking eyes and don't fucking get it. They don't understand it. Um, They're too young and dumb. That's what they want to fight. No, you're not young and dumb. You're fucking young and ignorant because you think you have all the fucking answers. Look, if you had all the answers, then you wouldn't be here in this fucking spot or in this thing questioning your fucking self. But yet, when you question yourself and I try to hand you information, I try to hand you the ability to change what you need in your fucking life, and you're going to give me this dumbass look like I'm fucking stupid? Well, guess the fuck what? Why'd you come to fucking me? Why are you talking to me? Why are you asking me these fucking questions? I'm only here to point you in the direction. It's up to you to fucking walk. It's up to you to move. It's up to you to want to strive. It's up to you to want to do better. It is up to you to change. I don't got to change you. All I got to do is change the way you think and guess the fuck what? You will fucking go in the right direction. I'm just trying to give people the words they need to fucking hear to realize that things can always get fucking better. All right? Everything can get better. Everything can fucking change. Everyone gets an opportunity, a second opportunity, a third opportunity, a fourth opportunity. There are so many opportunities in this fucking world that you can fucking get if you only try and work for it. Anything is fucking possible. Anything is fucking possible. All you got to do is be willing. Possible and willing. You know? I go through so much fucking shit in my fucking life, have all these fucking doubts, have all these fucking things, and you know what? My own subconscious tells me these things, shows me these things, awakens my fucking eyes to these things to let me know that guess the fuck what? We've been through this. We've done this. We can change this. People fall off and people get back up. That's the fucking truth. That is the absolute fucking most realest fucking truth you can hear. You know, because I've been there. I've done that. I've failed completely miserably hard and fell into a hole and didn't think I'd ever get out of it. But guess the fuck what? I fucking manned the fuck up, realized what the fuck is going on, talked myself out of the fucking hole and got myself back on my fucking feet. You know, things happen. People change. People grow up. People get enlightened. People wake up out of this fucking fantasy world and realize in the real world that this is what is needed. This is what needs to get done. And when you do that, things change. Things get better. And that's what I want. I want people to understand that nothing is going to be stuck forever. Bad times pass. Horrible things move on. You know what I'm saying? You change. Your ideas change. When things happen, it lets you see things in a different fucking way than the first fucking time. So you know, oh, Don't do that. Don't say this. Don't go there. Oh, I'm not going to do that a fucking again. These are life lessons that you learn as you grow. Some people just take longer than others and guess the fuck what? That happens. But who fucking cares? You go at your own fucking pace. Don't worry about the next fucking person. Look, the grass is always greener on the other side. But who gives a fuck how green the fucking grass is? I let my shit die because I don't want no one to look at my grass. I don't want to mow the lawn. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I, you have to do these things, you know, that people fucking don't ever think of, you know, you got to change the way you think the box isn't always a box. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's a fucking cone. Sometimes it's a fucking circle. Everybody is unique in their own fucking way and see things in their own fucking way. And people need to wake up to fucking see in their way. Don't worry about the next person's way. Worry about your own fucking way. 
Worry how you learn. Worry how you train. Worry what you're doing in your life and not the next fucking person. Because guess what? If you fucking looking at a fucking straight line and you walk that straight line, as long as you don't turn your fucking head to look at the next person's straight line, you won't have to worry about the next fucking person. It's when you turn your head to the side that you lose your fucking path. Don't lose your fucking path. Stay on your own fucking path. And if you fall off your path, guess the fuck what? Start over again. Start a new fucking path. And keep an eye on the prize. You know, I just try to hand out a little motivation here and there because, look, I know what it is to lose motivation. I know what it is to lose inspiration. I know what it is to fucking be struggling with, why am I doing this? What is going on? How do I change? And if you keep asking yourself these questions, guess the fuck what? Eventually, you're going to get a fucking answer. And when you get that fucking answer, and it's the answer you want to fucking hear, and it's the answer that you need to fucking hear, well, guess the fuck what? Things will start to change. Good motivation, good fucking vibes, good fucking thoughts bring good things to life. If you think negative, you be negative. To make your life possible to the way you want, you have to be willing to do what is possible. You have to be doing what is willing to be done. You need to do whatever it fucking takes in your life to get what you want in this life. You know, I constantly tell people, if you don't do what it takes, you're not going to get what you want. You know, I train hard. I fucking learn hard. I'm reading. I'm fucking up to date on articles. I'm up to date with all kinds of things. So all I want to do is expand my mind to see what I need to do with this world to get what I want, to change things to how I want it to be. You know, when you do these things out there, shit will fucking get better. Get out of your fucking hole. Get out of your fucking house. Get out of the fucking dark room. Get out of your fucking mind. Stop worrying about what the fuck is people are thinking. And worry about what the fuck you want in this world. What do you want to get out of this world? What do you want to fucking give to yourself that no one else can fucking give? And then you'll work your ass fucking towards it until you fucking get it. You know? That's all it is. But you know what? Angry fucking dad fucking podcast. It's fucking Monday. I'm fucking sick. And I'm getting sick and tired of fucking hearing people complain. You know? Do something with your fucking self. Alright? You know, I had a good weekend. It's a good Monday. I'll see you motherfuckers on fucking Wednesday when I do my next fucking podcast. I do it fucking Monday, Wednesday, and fucking Friday. And if... I you don't get one on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Understand if it was a fucking holiday and a school holiday, I'm just like the fucking government. I don't I don't work on fucking those days. Period. I don't give a fuck what anybody fucking says. It's my fucking podcast, and I fucking put my own damn fucking schedule out when I fucking want. You know. Also, too, if you are looking for another podcast, go check out. It be like that. It's my favorite fucking podcast. I like listening to it. It's my number one fucking podcast. I wait every fucking two weeks for this motherfucker to come out. And I enjoy it fucking thoroughly. All right. It's IBLT podcast on fucking Instagram, Twitter, and fucking, you know, YouTube, all that fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Go fucking check it out. They're on Spreaker. They're on fucking Applecast, the fucking iTunes, whatever the fuck you want to call it. They're the same fucking shit that I'm fucking on. Go fucking check it out. Subscribe, fucking listen, let them know I fucking sent you. Same thing with Terrible Terror Podcast. I like bad B movies and I just listen to Species and um, it is exactly the way I remember it, the way he told it and God fucking damn, that was a crazy fucking movie. Made me want to go back and fucking watch it. So go check out Terrible Terror fucking podcast. At T underscore T on in, on Twitter, ter- the Terrible Terror Podcast on Instagram. On Instagram, go check them all fucking out because I fucking said so. Let them know I fucking sent you to fucking go check out their fucking podcast, and that's what it fucking is. All right. Also, too, I just listened to the fucking Joe Rogan Experience Podcast. That is just an amazing fucking podcast by an amazing fucking person. And I just listened to the Joey Diaz one, which I fucking always enjoy when Joey Diaz is on. I got to check out that guy's podcast. You know what I'm saying? He flies off the fucking hinges. I've seen him fucking perform once. Oh, my fucking God had me fucking rolling. But you know what? That's what I'm fucking saying. It's fucking Monday. Fuck Monday. Fuck Tuesday. Fuck Wednesday. Fuck Thursday. Fuck Friday. I don't give a fuck about any fucking day. I'm sweating my fucking ass off because my fucking car is hot as fuck. It's supposed to be fucking winter. And it's fucking blazing. All right? I'm fucking in my car doing this fucking podcast like I don't normally fucking do. So guess the fuck what? I'll see you guys on fucking Wednesday. Fuck this shit.